Francis Walker. I'm at Wake Forest University School of Medicine and uh, professor of neurology. I've uh, been there 28 years and uh, uh, neurologist. I'm Mike Cartwright. I'm an assistant professor of neurology at Wake Forest and work with Dr. Walker and have worked with him since 2000, 1998, something like that. Um, and have had an interest in nerve and muscle ultrasound since that time. So my father was a physician and ever since I was young I wanted to be a doctor. Uh, but in college I really got into physiology and physiological psychology. And so when I came to medical school, neurology was clearly one of the most interesting areas. And the function of the peripheral nervous system is always fascinating. Neuromuscular junction, sensation and perception. So those are the things that really got me fired up about the special. Uh, I grew up in Rochester, Minnesota, and so there was a lot of um, medical people all around with the Mayo Clinic being there. And so I just uh, had a lot of exposure to medicine, thought it was a very uh, interesting field to go into, and that's what I chose. And then as far as neurology, I, um, I like the mystery of neurology. I like trying to figure out the diagnosis. I, like the, I really enjoyed anatomy, and so I thought it was a good way to sort of uh, put together these clinical skills and, and my, uh, my interest in anatomy, and, and I've really just enjoyed neurology ever since the first week of medical school. Uh, well, there was a pioneer in neurovascular ultrasound, a guy named Bill McKinney. And Bill came to me when I was a junior faculty member and told me, Walker, ultrasound has a real role in all the muscle disease and the nerve disease. You've got to get started. So that's why I started playing around with ultrasound in the mid-1980s. And as time passed, we found more and more applications looking at muscle. It got very exciting about a decade ago when we realized that all the resolution of ultrasound had reached the point where you could see small nerves. And that's when things took off. Fortunately, my colleague, Dr. Carpenter, right here, was also getting interested in this field at the same time. So uh, two, two eyes are always better than one. And that led to a great, uh, a great evolution of interest and enthusiasm in the field. Yeah, in 2001, I was a third year medical student. I wanted to do a research project, and so I came to Dr. Walker and said, I want to do something, some sort of neurology research. And he said, oh, you should look at ultrasound and nerves. And so um, he sort of showed me how to do it. And then I decided I was going to do a project looking at carpal tunnel syndrome and did an ultrasound on all my 100 classmates and, um, and wrote up that paper. And it went well, and, and then sort of took off from there. And then we saw a need for, there wasn't, um, there were courses and there were, uh, there were lecture series. Um, a few, you know, there were papers written, but there wasn't a comprehensive book that put everything together. So the, the idea behind the book was to um, combine all the knowledge that had been written about and talked about and put it into uh, a textbook where hopefully uh, readers can go and get a whole bunch of information about nerve and muscle. Injuries. Obviously the biggest, our biggest partner in electrodiagnosis has been physical medicine rehabilitation and did a lot of the pioneering work in the field. And their interest spans not just nerve and muscle ultrasound, but also musculoskeletal ultrasound. On the neurology side, the interest has come from neurovascular ultrasound into peripheral nerve and muscle. So it's a nice overlap of two key fields. So Mike, maybe you want to mention a few of the other Sure. Ones. So we've, um, there's been a lot of contribution to the literature and that we've We've also worked with anesthesiologists. Anesthesiologists are very interested in imaging nerve for nerve block. Um, radiologists, especially musculoskeletal radiologists, people that do sports medicine, rheumatologists. Um, there have been, there's an interest from quite a few fields. Neurosurgery, orthopedics, plastic surgery, those that do uh, hand surgery or nerve microsurgery are also uh, interested in the, the topic as well. We see it as a developing field. It's certainly a field that's maybe in its infancy or just uh, maybe the toddler stages. I have a little kids, so I like to uh, think about it in kids' terms. And um, and we hope that it'll continue to develop, and we see you know future editions of the textbook and and uh, a continued evolution of the of the field.